back to my channel. My name's Erica, and today I'm going to be talking about the keto diet. Today I'm going to be talking to you about what the diet is, what I typically eat, how much weight I've lost, because we know that's what you're all here for, um, and I'm going to show you some before and after pics, and just talk a little bit more in general about the pros and cons of the diet. And I'm not a nutritionist by any means, so do this diet at your own risk. This is just my personal experience and I wanted to share it with you guys. So the essential goal of the ketogenic or keto diet is to get into something called ketosis. And that's essentially where your body burns fat instead of carbs for energy. So in turn, your body burns extra fat and then you lose that fat. So that's how it sort of works. But I'm gonna leave a link below with way more information. So don't forget to check that out. So essentially this diet is high fat, moderate protein, and low carb, and you're trying to stay within 20 to 25 net carbs per day. So that's carbohydrates minus fiber. So a lot of people start this diet and are just counting carbs, so they end up eating way less than they should be. So that's something to watch out for, for sure. So the brief history of this diet, I forget when it started, but it was first created to treat traumatic, traumatic, traumatic brain injuries, Alzheimer's, epilepsy, because this diet was high fat, good for the brain, and it was said to help those ailments. So as for my experience with the diet, I started this diet on May 15th. I did this diet from May 15th to May 26th because my birthday is May 26th, I turned 19, and I wanted to eat a sandwich on my birthday, I wanted cake, I just wanted to enjoy my birthday like normal, so I did. But then I kept celebrating my birthday for the next like three days. So in the first round of this diet from May 15th to May 26th, I lost 12 pounds. I started at 145 and I ended at 133. And then when I had that little period of eating during my birthday where I was eating a bunch of carbs, I gained back six pounds. So I was 139 on May 29th. So then I did the diet from May 29th to June 22nd. I went back down to 135, so I lost an additional four pounds. And then I've been doing the diet again ever since June 26th through the present, and today is July 11th. I've lost another four pounds again that I gained. So it's kind of been a back and forth for me. Um, the first few pounds you lose on this diet are water weight, but anything after that is going to be fat. So you're gonna notice you're a lot less bloated in this diet and you're just gonna have a flatter stomach in general. So as for the pros and cons of this diet, I'm gonna start with the cons and end with the pros. So in the beginning of this diet, your body is adjusting, it's getting a new energy source. So of course you're gonna feel a little less energized, you're gonna feel a little more fatigued. Some people call this the keto flu. I would recommend doing your research on it. It'll probably set in your second or third day. And mine lasted around two or three days. And my only real symptom was leg pain, like limb pain. It kind of felt like growing pains, like when you were a little kid. But that's the only symptom I personally experienced, but it's definitely different for everyone. Another con is not being able to eat out, and that's what made it so hard to do the keto diet when I was in New York, which is when I stopped from June 22nd through 26th. It just felt impossible, so I treated myself, I indulged, it was fine, I bounced back. That's the important thing. This diet is not really an option, it's not like you can really cheat on this diet. So if you're gonna cheat, you're gonna cheat. Go out, do that, and then be disciplined for two or three days and you'll get back into ketosis. But just in general, it can be hard to eat out on this diet. Some things that are my go-tos are like Caesar salads or... Caesar salads, that's basically the only thing I've eaten out since going on this diet. I am personally a vegetarian, so there's not a lot of variety on this diet. I eat a whole lot of dairy, um, eggs, but those foods are really high in fat, moderate protein. They have almost perfect macros. I just personally find it difficult to have variety on this diet, but that's okay with me. I don't really have a lot of time either with working, so it's nice to have a few set meals that I eat right now. And as for some of the pros on this diet, because they are the best part, you're gonna lose weight. Naturally, when your body switches over to a different energy source, you're gonna be burning fat, your body is changing and it's adapting, and you're gonna lose weight fairly fast on this diet. Another pro is that you're gonna be less bloated. That's definitely something I've noticed. Um, I'll wake up in the morning, I can eat, and I won't even be bloated after like one or two meals. It's great. Another underrated pro that I haven't really heard anyone talk about is my 
butt got bigger. Without exercise, I wasn't squatting. I didn't start exercising in this diet until about three weeks ago. So I know that those kind of things came with just the diet. So in terms of the diet itself, I eat smaller meals and I'm fuller longer because the calorie count is a lot higher with fats. You're gonna be satiated for a lot longer and you're not really thinking about your next meal, at least personally I'm not, and I know I'm really prone to that normally when I'm eating high carb. So that was just another pro that I noticed. And for the moment you've all been waiting for, here are my before and after photos. As you can see, um, I've had a little bit of growth on the butt. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and I also am definitely less bloated. My stomach is flatter, and then you can kind of tell that my arms are a little bit slimmer. And I believe that weight isn't the best measurement for like how your body's doing. So I did measuring tape measurements and I've lost a few inches, I think like three inches in total, which isn't bad to me. I'm happy with my results and I'm probably gonna keep doing this diet until I go back to school. So if you guys would like to see any sort of recipe videos, what I eat in a day on this diet, or any other questions you have, be sure to leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye guys. Thank you.